Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the 12th chapter of microwave engineering where we have the various microwave passive components to be addressed so far. So up till now in this chapter, we have gone through the introduction to the very popular three port devices as like the waveguide junctions called as E plenty and H plenty exhibiting the subtractive and the additive properties respectively. The combination of the two that it is a four port component called as magic T we have understood. Next to that the hybrid rings is also reported and the another popular four port device that it is directional coupler we have seen. So all these microwave components we have analyzed with the help of derivation for the scattering matrices giving us the input to output power relationships. Now in this family let us add one more component that is called as hybrid couplers. So here we start with our topic. The topic is titled hybrid couplers here. So as the two terms into the title couplers. So again, this is one of the microwave component which couples energy. So basically when we are working with the N port microwave components, there it is the coupling of energy or power from one port to another port here. As a combination of the E and H plenty, we have called the device to be the hybrid T also called as magic T because of its behavior here. So here it is also the mention of the term hybrid to such a coupling microwave component or microwave device we can say. Adding some more information to the hybrid coupler. Hybrid coupler is basically the interdigitated microstrip coupler here. So as we talk about the interdigitated microstrip coupler, here the middle term microstrip refers to the microstrip lines which are basically the transmission lines carrying the energy from one location to another location for the microwave signal here. Next to that we have in the total four number of the microstrip lines and that are parallel to each other. As we have the four microstrip lines that are parallel to each other, we can number them 1, 2, 3 and 4 here. The connection between the alternate lines is having tied up among them. Next to that, as we talk about the microstrip line, the structure of the microstrip line or the basic strip line is known to all. There should be a dielectric substrate. Below the dielectric substrate, there it is the requirement of the ground plane which is made up of the conductive material whereas there it is the main conductive component there. We call that to be the strip conductor here. So there of course will be requirement of all these components but for the hybrid couplers it is observed that it is having a single ground plane. Again, it has the single dielectric substrate whereas there it is the use of single layer of metallization. But we have four parallel microstrip lines here. Most of the times such a type of hybrid coupler is also referred with the name Lange hybrid coupler. So let us visualize such type of Lange hybrid coupler with the help of one schematic diagram. So this is the schematic diagram of the Lange hybrid coupler and as we see these four ones these are nothing but the four parallel microstrip lines. We can number them. This is the microstrip line number one. This is the microstrip line number two. This is the microstrip number 3 here and the strip line number 4 here can be numbered here. 
Now these are the connections which show the alternative tie up between the four parallel microstrip lines here. Now as we have seen into the schematic diagram the four microstrip lines. So microstrip lines are basically the transmission line. The end points or the openings we can say in general for the transmission line are nothing but the ports here. So therefore for the lange type of hybrid coupler we can call there upon we have four ports here. So let us name them. This is port number one. This is port number two. Port number three here and port number four as shown into the schematic diagram. Now let us discuss about the behavior of the lange type of the hybrid coupler. So the behavior is as such if we provide input input microwave signal to that of the port number one. So the resultant behavior is that the microwave signal will be fed to the alternate and the other ports here whereas the outputs obtained are as such that the port number two and port number four will be having equal magnitude and in phase microwave signal component whereas for port number three there it won't be having any kind of output generated here so this is somewhat similar to that of the hybrid t called as magic t we have seen which is also a four port microwave component here so this is the behavior for the lange type hybrid coupler now basically we find the two types of the hybrid couplers here the one type is called as 180 degree hybrid coupler here whereas the another type we also have the possibility of 90 degree hybrid so as 90 degree is one fourth of the 360 degree which is the complete for a phase cycle here this is also said to be a quadrature hybrid coupler Now what are the different applications possible with the help of the hybrid couplers. So the applications can be listed as the first application we can make use in terms of attenuators. So as we see the signal input provided to the port number one we don't find any of the output at port number three. So there it is a complete attenuation we can say. Next to the attenuation we can also make the use of the hybrid coupler in the balanced amplifiers. After balanced amplifiers we can also make it used for the purpose of balanced mixers. After mixers we can also make it useful for the purpose of modulation the device called as modulator here. We also use the hybrid couplers in the discriminators and into the phase shifters also. So while we use the two basic types 180 degree hybrid and 90 degree hybrid the 90 degree hybrid is also mentioned by the name 3 db directional coupler so as there it will be the split up of the microwave signal fed to the port 1 in the port number 2 and 4 so it will be the half with the equal magnitude and the same phase hence the name 3 db splitter directional coupler now out of the six applications that we just now have listed for the hybrid couplers here if we take the case of the use of hybrid coupler for the purpose of balanced amplifier circuitry 
this is the schematic diagram which will give you the more details here so i provide you the name here this is a balanced amplifier with the Lange couplers now where are the hybrid couplers in this particular circuitry so the hybrid couplers are here made up of the single stage or the cascaded stage double stage of the gallium arsenide misfits here so misfit stands for metal to semiconductor field effect transistor that we have already covered in one of our previous chapter for the subject microwave engineering here so on the topmost side we have the gallium arsenide misfit the first one that we designate with the name small a here whereas at the bottom we can provide the gallium arsenide misfit small b here now you can see here this particular node can be treated as the input port here so we provide here the input power in this direction and the port number can be regarded as port number one here whereas as like the previous schematic diagram we have seen at the bottom end we have the port number three here and the port number three is terminated with the load impedance or the pure resistance shown in the schematic diagram having the value 50 ohms here now this can be the port number two and this can be the port number four here so here the interconnection that we see here this is nothing but the representation of the lange coupler here so here the representation of this particular arrow gives us the information regarding the power input output relationship shown by s sub x 1 1 small a that it is the scattering coefficient whereas this is the representation of s sub x 1 1 small b here now after these two components and the common point that has been grounded here we have the lange coupler onto the right hand side and here also we can have naming of the ports here whereas this particular port is terminated with the 50 ohm pure resistance and further it is grounded and now we have this particular direction to get the output here so i mention here output power now here we have the relationships for the scattering coefficients given as the overall scattering coefficient s sub x 1 1 is obtained by 1 by 2 times in the bracket s sub x 1 1 a minus s sub x 1 1 b here so let this can be regarded as equation number one whereas the scattering coefficient s 2 2 can be obtained by having 1 by 2 in multiplication 2 to the difference of s 2 2 a minus s 2 2 b here let us name this my equation number 2 here and from the use of s 1 1 and s 2 2 the scattering coefficients the gain for the device can be given in terms of we have mod of s21 square which can be 1 by 4 times the mod that is having the addition of s21 small a added to s21 small b here the mod is squared here so let us name this equation by equation number 3 here so here the representation of small a and small b is with respect to the gallium arsenide misfit chips here whereas 1 and 2 here it is 1 1 2 2 that is representing the input and the output ports we can say here so these relationships for the scattering coefficients in general s suffix ij the input provided at the ith port and output taken from the jth port 
will be helpful to have the problems based on this hybrid coupler to be solved there. We extend the use of the scattering coefficients to make the calculations for the VSWR, VSWR that stands for the voltage standing wave ratio. So VSWR for the input port can be given by VSWR is equal to 1 added to the mod of S11 divided by 1 minus mod of S11. So this is for input port. So we continue numbering the equation, equation number 4 here. And we have the another VSWR that it is equal to 1 added to the magnitude of S22 divided by 1 minus the mod of S22 here. So this is for output port here. So let us name this by equation number 5. So both of these two equations will also be helpful to have the measurement of VSWR, the voltage standing wave ratio by the use of this particular hybrid coupler in the terms of balance amplifier application to be measured here. Now, if we have the two gallium arsenide misfit chips as shown into the schematic diagram to be identical here. So that time the amplifier is said to be balanced here. And whatever the VSWRs for the input and the output ports, they will be obtained with the value of 1 there. So when we substitute S11 and S22 scattering coefficients to be 0, we obtain the unity value for the VSWR. So this is the ideal or the theoretical behavior of the device in this particular application here. So based on all these understanding for this hybrid coupler device, we shall continue into the next lecture to solve a practice of one problem. So I hope you enjoy learning the topics related to the subject microwave engineering. For more such information and the details or the knowledge of the subject, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.